There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the super missiles. Twice the power of regular missiles, and upon impact, it causes a slight tremor. You'll see soon enough. Okay, so we're just gonna go through here. Get a running start. Jump! You missed. Now check this out. Only super missiles will open the green doors. And at the same time, you saw the screen shake? Good. And of course, the game is also cruel enough to make you use super missiles to clear certain blocks. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just that it happens at the worst possible spots. But we're doing fine. Nice. And I've already used three of my five missiles. This could be very bad, but then again, I've got more than enough more than enough regular missiles. So we should be fine. Okay, let's try doing some more bomb jumping. Oh nice. I thought I was gonna miss there for a second. Almost there. Okay, there we go. Another pack of missiles. So I'd say we're sitting pretty right now. But I can't get too comfortable because we've got a lot of enemies to face. Including this ugly mother. And its sister. Oh yeah, that's right, I almost forgot. When you're charging up your beam, you can actually pull a mock screw attack. Out of here. And just through here is one of my favorite enemies. This is Cack Attack. I don't really like it personally, but the reason I like it so much is if you're running low on super missiles, kill it, and nine times out of ten, it will always drop a super missile. It's very nice. And now, we've arrived in Red Brinstar. We're getting close to Kraid's stronghold. Soon, the lizard shall fall. Unfortunately, I don't have the means to open that yellow door yet, but that'll come later. For now, let's just keep on going. Don't jump in the water because it'll slow you down. Although, no surprise, there will be an item that will actually give you a little bit more mobility in the water. Get out of here. Now we're gonna go up here. Good, looking very good. Man, I gotta say, my bomb jumping's on par today. Haven't missed a single one yet. Dang, dude! Alright, looking good. And of course, gotta use another super missile. Why would I expect anything less? But it's worth it. I now have the spacer. It increases my laser strength a little bit, but here's the best part. Wider range makes it easier to hit targets. Alright, let's be on our way. Shoot this. Bomb that. Whoops, missed. Okay, there we go. Got it. Originally, it took three shots to kill Cack Attack. Now it takes only two. Nice. And on our way to Kraid, we're passing through another area. This is not part of Brinstar. Rather, it's Meridia. And once we go through here, we're back in Brinstar, and we're in an elevator room. Let's go down. Believe it or not, we are nowhere near ready to face this area. However, there are some things we can pick up here. Welcome to Norfair, Ridley's Lair. We're gonna go down here, and we're gonna come across a red door at some point. Yeah, here we are. There are three very important items here. The first one, right under our nose, our second energy tank. There's also a missile pack here. I'll get that in due time. And then there's a big item for our suit. And be sure to open the locked door first. As long as you do that, you don't have to go through it, it'll always stay open. And in here, is the big item. Just on the other side of this wall, there we go. The high jump boots. No surprise, it doubles our jump height. Look at me go! Alright, now that we've got that, let's go back up to Brinstar because we've got Kraid's number and he is not going anywhere. Oh yes, and I almost forgot. Missiles. More missiles. Okay, up we go. Blow open the rock. And we're out of here. So Ridley, I say to you, 
Sorry, but unfortunately, I've got to cancel for now. But, um, maybe in a little bit, once I get a little more equipment. Sound good to you? I knew you'd understand. Bye-bye. Yeah, to further stretch a point, the reason we're not going through more of Norfair is because we don't have a special item that will shield us from heat. Oh, almost forgot. Once again, gotta use super missiles to break blocks. I swear that's becoming a real big pain in the butt. Although once I start getting more super missiles, it won't be as bad. Out of here. And we've got a locked door. It'll open up once Crate is defeated. But we won't worry about that now. We've got to worry about actually taking them out. And watch this. The spacer rips through these guys like nothing. Out of here. All of them. Chump change. And we're almost there. We're entering his hideout right now. And of course we got these guys. The spacer tears them apart, no problem. Oh. There he is! Nah, I'm just pulling your chain. That's not the real Kraid. It's a doppelganger. If you want to know where the real boss is, I'll show you right away. You'll see this eye over top the door. Pop it with three missiles, or one super missile, and you know you're ready for a fight. Let's go in, and let's face Kraid. Nothing. Where is he? He's making his entrance. My word, he certainly got big. Crap. Okay, I missed one, but I got the other. Holy smokes, man! Haven't you ever heard of Slim Fast? Alright, I actually got him from afar. Okay, one more should do him in. Absolutely pathetic. Four super missiles, and Crate is down. You know, given his size, you would think he would put up more of a fight, but whatever. I won, and that's the important thing. And the reward is very well worth it. Check it out. The Varia suit. It gives us a little extra defense, and more importantly, a heat shield. And it looks awesome. Okay, so I think this is where I'm going to call it a video. So in the next one, now that we've got the Varia suit, we might as well go through Norfair. Until then, this is JP of Channel 84 Winnipeg, signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.